in this session let us discuss about sources composition and characteristics of e waste first let us see what is e waste any electrical and electronic product that had been discarded is considered as an electronic waste or in short it is referred to as e waste so in general e waste is defined as an electrical and electronic equipment discarded as waste by the consumer also any electrical and electronic product rejects from manufacturing renovation and repair process this is the definition of e waste now let us see some of the sources of e waste first one is consumer electronics such as smartphones laptops televisions and household appliances as we know electronic device market is wide ranging with new devices it is common for us as consumers to replace our old used electronics with the newest versions the constant replacement of devices creates large unwanted electronic products next source is it and telecommunication equipment such as outdated computer systems servers switches printers scanners landline phones and many more that make up a large portion of electronics attributed to e waste next source is office equipment many companies use electronics such as computers keyboards monitors speakers scanners printers uh, fax machines and other electronic devices in large quantities we know that one right with the daily use by entire offices of employees they can break down more quickly than personal devices if companies ignore proper electronics disposal procedures these electronics can end up in the garbage this will create large amount of e waste next one is appliances and white goods household appliances make up a large portion of e waste uh, refrigerators washing machines air conditioners dishwashers vacuum cleaners and microwaves are all examples of appliances that can accidentally end up in the dumpster next one is lighting equipment such as light bulbs fluorescent tubes fluorescent lamps and other lighting devices provides e waste these devices contains hazardous materials such as mercury that require proper disposal next source is medical devices the healthcare and research sectors heavily depend on electronic equipment such as x-ray machines mri machines ultrasound devices and so on for diagnostics treatment and experimentation however the constant evolution of medical and laboratory technology leads to the disposal of older equipment that can become e waste next one is industrial equipment industrial machinery electronic control unit and automation systems can also generate e waste next source is power and energy equipment this category includes batteries solar panels generators ups transformers and so on next source is toys and recreational devices such as discarded or broken electronic toys video game consoles and electronic musical instruments can also generates e waste next is miscellaneous electronic devices such as electronic watches calculators electronic cigarettes and uh, small electronic gadgets that also provides e waste next let us see the composition of e waste the composition of e waste can vary depending on the type of device and its components in general e waste contains a mixture of materials which consist of metals such as copper gold silver and aluminum next composition is plastics 
Many electronic devices contains plastic components, including casings, insulation, and cables. Electronic devices also contains glass components, such as screens and lenses. Many electronic devices contain circuit boards, which contain a mixture of metals and other materials, such as arsenic, cadmium, chromium, lead, mercury, and other toxic chemicals. Next is batteries which contains hazardous materials such as lead, mercury, and cadmium. E-waste also contains other hazardous materials such as flame retardants, heavy metals, and polychlorinated biphenyls. These are some of the compositions of e-waste. Next is the characteristics of e-waste. First one is its complexity. E-waste materials contains so many complex toxic components such as cadmium, mercury, lead, barium, lithium, polybrominated flame retardants and so on. Hence, which makes it difficult to recycle and dispose the e-waste properly. Next one is hazardousness. E-waste contains lots of hazardous materials such as flame retardants, heavy metals, batteries and so on, which affect the environment as well as human health also. Next is volatility. Volatile organic compounds are one of the leading organic pollutants. They affect the atmosphere and human health. Several studies have identified the emission of volatile compounds during the e-waste recycling process, which causes severe health effects. E-waste is a global issue because every year, billion tons of e-waste were produced, used and discarded globally. But only few percentage of e-waste was collected and recycled. Hence, e-waste is considered as global issue. Next is resource depletion. E-waste contains valuable resources like gold, silver and copper, which can be recovered and reused. However, improper disposal leads to the loss of these resources, contributing to further depletion of natural resources. Next is environmental and health impacts. Improper disposal of e-waste produces water pollution, air pollution, soil pollution, which also affect the human health. 